if you have got the Team Legit Nucleus PDB and you want to use a four cell or a three cell just as you feel like it, what you need to do is get one of these, go to uh, hobbytronics.co.uk really good service and you can see that it's a tiny little thing it's a step up step down 12 volt regulator it solders in on the underside of the PDB there uh, it might not show up very well here because I've used the black um, insulation liquid on that just because if I land in wet grass or anything like that I don't really want to end up frying it now what that means when you if this will focus there you go when you're running a um a four cell lipo now where that red lead goes to that pad there is for a uh, it says 4s 12v on it now that dead when you get the board there's nothing on it it's dead <clears throat> when you use this regulator whether you're running on a three cell or four cell lipo it's always going to give you 12 volts out of that so you're not going to cook your camera <coughs> Excuse me. So it gives you a regulated 12 volt output. There's another pad at the back, you just about to see it, I think, in there, buried down there, uh, which we're not using on this for the video transmitter because uh, my transmitter is happy to run off three, four cell, whatever you put in it, it's happy. <clears throat> so we're not using it for that. But on the front, so you don't cook your camera, it's worth doing. Cost next to nothing. <coughs> what I've also done, I've also ordered a load of right angled 90 degree header pins. So my nays, I can get all the leads to sit nice and flat. They're all flat against the board. Just gives me a little bit more room in there for my video transmitter and bits and bobs. A bit tidier as well, a bit of a tidier install. And then I've, I've snuck my little free sky receiver underneath the nays there, out of the way. So I just wanted to share this because I had to do a lot of research finding out how to do this because there's, there's not a great deal of information out there. It's really simple to do. It solders in from the underside, just get some straight pins, solder them in, slip the board over the, the, um, uh, the step up step down regulator over the pin, solder it to that, cut the excess of the pins off and it fits in there nicely. Really easy job, very straightforward, and very cheap. They're about, I think about four pounds or something. Hope this helps anyone who's looking to do this, okay?